Hey folks, this is Matt once again, and this is just letting people know what's coming up on the channel, and as well, little stuff that I got from my, got on, that I pretty much had for my birthday. Um, the video that should be uploaded is two people were very nice enough to send me stuff, and that is the Son of Batman and Batman Assault on Arkham by First Power 100. Sorry, I'm doing this really late in the night, so I apologize for my mind being f fucked up. And then Corey, Freddy3911, who sent me very wonderful autographs, very kind of him to do so, very nice gesture. And then he has sent me American Sniper, Birdman, Hot Tub Time Machine 2, and Into the Woods, which these will be reviewed. I'm going to finish up the John Rob Van Damme movie reviews because I'm going to get to No Retreat, No Surrender, Black Deedle, uh fucking sa Assassination Games, and the Hardcore, and fucking Derailed, and Second Command, and JCVD, and a bunch of other shit. So I'll get to those pretty quickly. I've actually been doing some reviews and saving them so that I'll upload a bunch in quick succession, maybe on a daily basis. Pretty much, at least from now on, pretty much every day you'll get at least one, maybe two reviews. And since I've been saying a lot of good Van Damme for reviews for first, meaning when I say good reviews, I don't mean my reviews good, I mean that those are films that I like, so they're positive reviews. But Black Eagle, No Retreat, No Surrender, The Hardcore, Assassination Games, Derailed, and The Realms of Holy Shit. There's some good ones. JCVD, Replicant, The Shepherd Board Patrol, but a lot of shit. Heroes of the Soldier, the later ones, like Regeneration and Day of Raping. But anyway. That's what's coming next, the rest of the Van Damme reviews. And then the two the first part wonders sent me, and then the four that Corey sent me. And I know there's a lot of people were wondering, what about Poltergeist? What about Mad Max? What about the Howling films? What about Wishmaster? What about 50 other movies? And that's not an exaggeration either. It's just whenever I can get to it. It's whenever I can get to it, whatever I feel like, whatever I want to, whatever I... I don't want to get burned out. I don't want to get... So, it's whenever I can. Now, uh, the stuff that I got for my birthday, meaning stuff that I got because it was cheap and didn't really cost me much money, but so that I can have something for my birthday. At least, you know, it's better than nothing. And I hate that phrase. But it's, you know, sometimes it is true right here and my birthday it was pretty much just a typical day which was fine you know I uploaded Hard Target one of my favorite films of all time still is got a, very, a lot of very nice comments a lot of very nice happy birthday wishes from people on Facebook and people on YouTube thank you every single one of you for that that was very kind of you to do so um, and then I watched let's see what the hell else did I watch? Some of this stuff here. And then that night I actually talked to my friend Efri on Skype and we watched a bunch of movie trailers. Actually from the year of 1982, which was a lot of fun. And I got something to eat at McDonald's. And that was pretty much it. Drinking Mellow Yellow, relaxing. And you know what, that's fine. Because, you know what, honestly, I've been very lucky, very fortunate. I've gotten many deals from people. So, this is perfectly fine. I've been very lucky. So, I can't, honestly, cannot complain. Now, the stuff that I got, because again, they were pretty cheap. Because I do want to save it from some stuff that's down the road. Outland on Blu-ray. Got this because the DVD I had... For some reason, it's a cheap-ass DVD that if you put it in this big TV, the screen looks about like this. 
the movie looks like this on the screen. Imagine this is the TV. It's about this big and about this tall. I'm like, wow, it doesn't even fill the damn screen. So I had to upgrade the Blu-ray, which has a commentary by Peter Himes, which I got fucking bored by. It has a trailer. And the film looks good, uh, at least to me. Maybe it does it to other people. I think there's been so-so reviews of it, but it looked fine to me. But I'm not a big aficionado on picture quality of Blu-rays. So I wouldn't take my word on it. And then the same thing with this, which I think is a very underrated sequel. Outland I reviewed. The review of this is still on my channel. It's my favorite Sean Connery movie. And this is, I think, a very underrated sequel. Because no one ever talks about 2010. Roy Scheider, John Lithgow, another Peter Hyams film. And just like that, it I wanted to go through the whole screen, not just a teeny bit. So upgrade to Blu-ray. And this has a little featurette that was on the DVD and a trailer. But I thought the film looked great on Blu-ray with this as well. And then the third and last Blu-ray I got was Demolition Man. Because I have a lot of this other stolen films on Blu-ray. I have Cobra, Cliffhanger, Detox, Tango and Cash, Assassins. I have the Rocky films and the Ramble films on Blu-ray. So why not Demolition Man on Blu-ray? See, there's a few I want to get, but I don't know if, I don't know, we'll see. Was it Daylight, Dick Carter, Lock Up, Over the Top, but those are ones I don't know. I, I love the films, but for, the DVDs looked fine enough, so I just got this because this is one of my all-time favorite De Stallone films. And I love those other Stallone films, but I had to get Demolition Man because it's Demolition Man. And no, it does not have any features that, the features are the same on the DVD. Which is bullshit. And then some DVDs. Got this for pretty cheap. The Winking Lawyer. Because I like Matthew McConaughey. And I thought he did a really good job with this. And good cast too. Because you have Marissa Tomei. Ryan Philippe. Josh, Josh Lucas. John Lodizamo. Michael Pena. Bob Gunton. Brian Cranston. William H. Macy. Even Michael Pere makes appearance in this, which is cool. And I thought this was actually pretty good, The Lincoln Lawyer. Mainly for, especially for Matthew McConaughey's performance. It's a good courtroom drama thriller type of film. Bless the Child. My friend Mike, OCP, reviewed this film and he gave some really good marks on the film. And I actually caught this recently and I liked it. I don't know if I'll review it because I just have so much other stuff to get to, but I didn't mind this film. I don't think this film that's so bad deserves a 3% on Rotten Tomatoes. I mean, a 3% on Rotten Tomatoes, give me a fucking break. Directed by Chuck Russell. I thought this was actually pretty decent. Pretty decent film. Not that bad at all. Kim Basinger did a good job, as did Jimmy Smits, and Rufus Sewell, Christina Ricci, Ian Holm. Good cast, good acting. Some iffy special effects, but uh, a decent film. I don't love the death. I would put End of Days higher than this. That's actually my favorite of that kind of movie, End of Days. But uh, still pretty decent for a film that no one talks about. And finally, was able to find this for $3. The Night Stalker and the Night Wrangler. I originally had these on DVD-R. But I have the TV show on DVD, and I actually reviewed the TV show. And actually, if you look on my channel, you type in Kolchak on my channel, I actually recreated the intro, which was fun to do, and the intro of the TV show. So I did like a little, kind of like a little skit, redoing the intro to this, the Kolchak TV show in my review. And I love the TV show. Unfortunately, it only lasted one season, which sucks. But these were the TV movies that came out before it, that created that TV show. And yeah, I only have this on DVD-R. I remember when this DVD first came out, back in, what was it, 2004, 2005? When I had gotten it, it was John Carver's The Thing inside. But it says right there, The Night Stalker, and flip it over, The Night Strangler. And the DVD was perfect shape, and 
this is actually pretty spendy to find online. So the fact I found this for three dollars in a store, which is like one of the only stores we have around here for DVDs, is a place called Stuff Etc., which people give away or s try to sell their movies. Um, there's this, and then there's a really shitty pawn shop. That's and Walmart, so about three places to buy movies, unless online. But uh, I'm glad to have this officially on DVD, not just DVD-Rs. Because I do love Kolchak. I wish there could have been more of that series, but really do enjoy that. But other than the stuff from Corey, First Power 100, this is stuff I've gotten, which is pretty cool. But anyway, what's coming up next is more Van Damme movie reviews. Um, there'll be a lot of rants. Then I'm going to review Son of Batman. Well, I actually reviewed them already, but I uploaded once First Power 100 sent me. Get to the ones that Corey sent me. And after that, honestly, I just want to be spontaneous. I know there's a lot. Folks, I get requests every day. Every day. And it's very humbling that people actually care to hear what I have to say. But again, I get them like every day. And sometimes it's, can you review a whole series? Or can you review Fury 7 or Mammoth's Fury Road? And I'm like, I'm saving up money to get some stuff. I don't want to go pay 12 bucks to see a movie when, hell, if I wait long enough, I could probably pick that up used on DVD or Blu-ray. <laughs> and even if I don't like it, um, I could give it to someone or something like that, but um, I bought this. I didn't care for a while. I'd give it to a friend if they want it. But I just it depends. It depends. I say that it just depends. Depends. Say, yeah, fuck you. Why not? Let's do it. Or fuck you. Why not? Okay. Or fuck you. Why not? It just it depends. It, just spontaneous. Spontaneous is more fun. Spontaneous more fun than okay. We will review these, so we'll see. We'll see. But anyway, one day I keep saying one day to tons and tons of people, but I do mean one day. I literally, there are thousands of movies I would like to review, there's just not enough time in the world. But do the best that I can. But anyway, thank you very much for the happy birthday wishes. Very kind of you guys to do that. Thank you for the comments. Um, if you haven't checked out, I reviewed you know, one of my favorite films of all time, Hard Target. I know it's an hour long review, but I had to gush about it. It's one of my favorite films. I had to go epic long on that. Had to do it. It doesn't even have to be about... M because sometimes people are like, oh, why don't you do shorter reviews? It's not about wanting short long reviews it just whatever happens happens so if it goes 10 minutes it's 10 minutes if it goes 40 minutes it goes it's 40 minutes I mean really you just say these are movie reviews they're vlogs which I'm like yeah you just say that too they're vlogs as well that's kind of how I act like every video is a vlog what did I see today this is what I saw today this is what I watched today and this is what I thought of it because I don't really think of myself as a movie reviewer. I think of it as a vlogger that talks about movies. I'll do, and it is a review of movies, so I put movie review. That's pretty much it. I'm just, I don't know. I think when you get hired and you get paid, then you're a movie reviewer. But I just, this is just for fun. And you guys help make it, keep it fun. So I do thank you for that very much so thank you for the kind words especially that always means a lot to me it really really does thank you for the support and thank you guys for watching as you also you probably noticed that my youtube page i changed the banner to hard target because i just doing the vein number reviews i'm falling in love with that film even more so than i did before i had to put that as my channel art because it's simple but it's perfect because Vaughn Fry Will Die did a great job on the 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 previous channel art, but I just wanted something simple and 
because I don't think of myself as, oh, I'm a movie reviewer, like, or, oh, I just, I'm just a guy, i just rather have hard target, because I love the movie, just more simple, I like it more simple, I'm just, I'm a simple guy, that's just me, talking about movies, and that's how I like to be, um, but anyway, thanks for watching, take care, and stay tuned for more videos, later.